All right, we got the sun, and then we got the moon. All right. Now they're saying during a eclipse, the moon will start to block the sun, and the moon will eventually cover the sun in what they call a total eclipse to where we will see total darkness. They will completely cancel each other out, if you will, when the moon crosses in front of the sun here during the eclipse and start to cover it. I'm going to make a very simple point here, and I want everybody to pay attention to this during the North American eclipse. During this eclipse, right, I want everyone to, to pay attention and track the moon. I know it's a solar eclipse, but hear me out. If we really want to practice a science experiment, we need to be tracking the moon the days leading up to the eclipse. We need to find the moon. We need to know where the moon at is at all times during these eclipse. You know why? If we can start tracking the moon right now, up until the day it crosses in front of the sun, we can be sure that what's eclipsing the sun is the moon and that is nothing else. Normally what happens during an eclipse, right? Everybody go outside and they just look up at the sun and they wait for something to start blocking it off. That ain't the proper way to do that. What we need to do is go outside and look for the moon and follow it to the sun all the way up until the point when it start blocking it out. Why are we looking at the sun, waiting on the moon to come blocking it out if the moon is coming from over here to get over here? Why are we already looking at the sun? Why ain't we looking at, why ain't nobody saying, here come the moon, y'all, it's coming. And why ain't we looking over there at the moon before it even get to the sun? You ever thought about that? They got the whole world blind thinking that's the moon. If it's the moon, we can prove it with this simple experiment. We can find the moon right now outside. And everybody, we can track the moon every day and follow the moon all around the earth. It takes everyone participation because it's going to be in your state, then your state. Keep an eye on it. And let's see if we can follow the moon all the way into the path of the sun on the eighth when it started eclipsing the sun. Let's not wait to the day of the eighth and look at the sun. That's the game. That's the throw off. If we really want to figure this shit out, we would be tracking and following the moon two, three days before the eclipse and why and guiding it to the sun, making sure, yep, there go the moon, it's coming. Okay, it's getting to the sun. Yeah, that is the moon eclipsing it. But people, I got some news for y'all. What if I showed you video footage of the moon out during a solar eclipse? Oh my God! When you ask the question, well, damn, what the fuck is that? Eclipsing the sun if that go the moon. Let me see if I can find that footage. They tried to get it off the web. During the eclipse of 2017, pictures were taken of a strange double moon in the desert. It actually wasn't the moon. It was the shadow of another planet in the solar system. Y'all hear this dumb shit? These damn globalists are so stupid. And even the ancestors said that is not the moon eclipsing the sun. It's something, it's a, it's like a fifth dimensional body, a rogue body called Rahu. And there's another one called Ketu. 
Okay, some people say these are the lunar nodes. Now, I want y'all to realize something. This was a solar eclipse during 2017, and the moon was out during this eclipse. The moon was out during this eclipse. Oh, my God. And instead of them saying, hey, the flat earthers were right. Instead of them saying, hey, man, the flat earthers was right about this. The ancestors was right about this. That can't be the moon eclipsing the sun if that go the moon right there. Now, instead of scientists saying that, guess what they said? Oh, that's another planet. <laughs> People look at how big this shit is and it looked just like the moon. Now they gonna tell us the moon is another planet. Why? Because the moon's supposed to be eclipsing the sun right now. What the hell is it doing over there? Oh my God! The moon is supposed to be the thing that's eclipsing the sun. What the hell is that over there on the right then? See, that right there was the nail in the coffin for the globe. One thing is, it's amazing that when there are signs in the heavens to let us know what the earth is and we ignore them and mock those signs and mock the people that's there to interpret those signs and we go with the imposters that's got the damn Satan's tongue for their logo. You listen to the people with the serpent tongue for their damn logo. But think about this, right? I want y'all to realize this, all right? I want y'all to realize that this can't be another planet because if it's another planet, it's close as hell to the earth. Look at how big it is. <laughs> the only satellite that we've ever observed in our sky that size and that close to the earth is the moon. Now, they're telling us it's another planet. So, all of a sudden, another planet just popped up in the motherfucking sky that we never, ever saw before. And they don't tell you the name of this other planet. And it never came again. That was the only time that other planet was in the sky during this eclipse. Stupid. That wasn't no damn other planet. That's the moon, dummy. <laughs> now, whatever that is blocking out the sun, that's the other planet. They got everything backwards, man. That's the other. And these planets, by the way, aren't planets. They are portals. <laughs>